All right, welcome to another Master of Guardian video, you guys. Today we'll be taking a look at Thankful Heart Alpha, who just released about a couple hours ago, and we're going to see if she's worth pulling for. All right, so base stats, she is a green supporter. Position, 517, always want to double check this. So for a supporter, this is good. Um, this is new. Seems like they've done some quality of life stuff. So elf, shadow garden, seven shadows. Okay, pretty cool. All right, so hidden technique, cheers to shadows. Recovers HP, raises attack of all allies. Recovers HP of all allies by 200% of attack. Also raises attack by 10% for 10 seconds. Further increases attack by 20% for 10 seconds if 7 shadows. That's very interesting. So it seems like now characters have an affiliation and they get buffs according to that affiliation. I don't think that this was in the game previously, so I think this is a new thing. But if it's not, I guess you guys can correct me on that, but I don't remember seeing anything like this before. All right, so skill, Wallflower. Recovers HP of single ally with lowest HP by 100% of attack. Further raises speed by 20% for 15 seconds if green elemental. Okay. So not bad. Raises speed. Speed's good. Happy hour. Raises attack of all allies by 10% for 15 seconds. Further raises speed by 30% for 15 seconds if green elemental. Special ability, Thankful Heart. At start of wave, raise the speed of all allies by 10% permanent. Further increase the speed by 15% of 7 shadows permanent. Alright, let's see. Combo. Yeah, standard. Okay, let's take a look at the Awakening really quick. Thankful Heart. Plus, at start of wave, raises the speed of all allies by 20% permanent. Further increases speed by 15% if 7 shadows. Permanent. Alright, so stat, uh, status increase, attack plus 20, defense plus 9, HP plus 25. So, the affiliation bonus buff, I guess, is pretty interesting. I am really curious if it's like that for all characters currently in the game. Let's go check that really quick. Hmm. Okay, so group, human, Midgar. Okay, so maybe the affiliation was always there. It was just never labeled like this. Because I know that when you're in Sanctuary, certain characters will get uh, buffs according to like their affiliation. Like you can get Midgar buffs or you can get um, Shadow Garden buffs or um, units that are wearing slime suits, um, things like that. So, that's pretty interesting. I I guess it's a good idea to capitalize on what affiliation they're in and such. Because later in the game, once there's more units added in, it'll add for a lot of variation. Right now, there's not a ton of variation, but it'll get there. So... Bushin Festival will get pretty interesting. But that's pretty cool. Let's head back to the summon page here. 
and my thoughts on it is as always with these limited units it <clears throat> they're they can be very hit or miss so maybe hold off on alpha for now and wait until gamma comes and then kind of decide from there because thankful heart alpha will still be around and you'll be able to save up some more i don't think that she's bad necessarily but we kind of need to see what uh gamma is going to be able to provide but if you're just in need of a green elemental supporter anyway then maybe pull on her because she she doesn't seem bad but the affiliation they s alpha and gamma are the first two units for this affiliation i think and yeah we'll we'll just have to wait and see because i would like to know gamma's kit as well but if you're pulling purely for waifu reasons then you know by all means do you but that'll be it for me you guys i'll see you guys in the next vid thanks so much for watching toodaloo